This is Dovi Pokstis, one of the co-founders of Redux. And I thought I'd go over today the media item. Now, the media field has a bunch of different options. As you can see here in the sample, you can have a standard run of the mill, here it comes. Then you can also define it to allow to show the URL. And then you can do media without the URL and media with no preview. So we'll go through each of these really quick. So let's just select randomly images. So here is one. This is just the standard WordPress or the standard Redux media object. Shows a little tiny preview, upload, remove, select from your media library. Now this is a secondary one where you can select and also show the URL in an input box as well as a preview. This is media without a URL. I believe this is just a repeat. Yep, it's just a repeat of above. And then this one is media without preview where it only shows the URL. These are all settings that you can define in your custom config. Let's go and look at that really quick. We'll go to our sample config. We'll find media. And here are each of these. This uh, will define mode here in a second. So let's see. URL, you can specify whether or not you want the URL. You can specify whether or not you want the preview. And there's this other thing called mode. By default, the media uploader only allows images. If you change this, you can set any media type, or uh, if you set it to false, it allows any media type, but it, you can also specify that maybe I only want PDFs, or maybe I only want PNGs, or maybe I only want JPEGs. It all depends on the MIME type. There's a whole list for MIME types available on WordPress for their supported one. Now, just so that you're aware, things like zips or maybe web fonts and such are not uh, available automatically by WordPress. You have to do a function that allows you to add that custom po uh, word, uh, media type to the WordPress instance. Otherwise, it will never allow it to upload because of security. Great little feature of WordPress. Now, just so that we have a little bit more understanding, let's dive into this section. This is the actual field declaration. Um, let's see. So URL, like we talked about, if you specify URL is true or false, you can uh, basically override that. Preview, uh, thumbnail, whether or not you want it. Now, something that's interesting about our media object, let's look at the front end. This is an output of our global variable. And we'll just look, oh, first we gotta save. Save the values. On the front end, you'll notice something. Here's media one, media two, media three, media four. Do you notice that it's different than most frameworks? Most frameworks will only output the URL defaultly. Right now, if you try and output the variable given the key, you will get an array if you just do a standard echo. But if you do a print R, you will see that we provide you with a lot more. Now, why would we do this, you ask? How many of you have been trying to develop a theme and the standard image is way too big? Or perhaps this framework only returned the normal size image. Or perhaps you want to do some compression. Or you want to do calculation knowing what's, what size that image is. Essentially, I've provided for you what I feel are the most valuable attributes. Obviously, the standard URL, the height, the width, the smallest image, the smallest compressed image, the thumbnail, it may not be thumbnail, it may be a bunch of different things, but I call it thumbnail. It depends on what your custom image sizes are, but I choose the smallest one. And then ID. This is the attachment ID, so that you could call and get any size of thumbnail or anything you want from the attachment ID. You could do cropping, you could do anything. That is why the media object is a little bit more complex. We don't want you to just have a URL. Also, what's really interesting is if the URL changes and is, and is no longer accessible, you could put in some code that says, huh, we'll take the media ID. Okay, we changed URLs, so now we can update the actual URL. So we feel that the media object is a little bit more advanced than most frameworks, and there's reasons for that. We hope that you enjoy it.